This is a prayer for God to cover and protect your children. Repeat this prayer and make it your prayer by faith. The Bible says that the prayers of the righteous are powerful and effective. Let us pray. God of all grace and truth, I lift my children and grandchildren before your mercy seat. I plead the blood of Jesus over them as a hedge of protection against the demonic schemes, plots, and plans of the adversary. I pray that the blood of Jesus would block and cancel every ungodly influence or worldliness from having any sinful effect upon their life. I pray that your truth in them would expose every lie of the devil. Give them discernment, wisdom, and insight to detect every camouflage-like spirit that attempts to manipulate and confuse them. Reveal to them their identity in you, that they may cast down every imagination and take every thought captive to the obedience of Jesus Christ. I pray that no weapon formed against my children will succeed, but I pray that you would work all weapons that form against them for their good and for your glory. As they grow, I pray that you would be a shield for them against every dart of depression and oppression against their life. Fill their souls with joy that they may overflow with worship and lift up holy hands before your sanctuary. I pray that you would keep a fresh song in their hearts that they may continue to worship you in spirit and in truth. I pray that your spirit would guide them along the right path that they may be seekers of truth. Father, help them not to conform to this world, but empower them to be transformed by the renewing of their minds, that they may know what it is to fear the Lord. Stir within them the gifts and fruits of the Spirit, that they may walk in the anointing, proclaiming your powerful name. Father, place your angels around my children and protect their comings and goings. Give them knowledge to make the right decisions. Help them to find comfort in knowing that your peace and presence is with them at all times. Purify their minds from all pride, resentfulness, bitterness, jealousy, and anger. Teach my children, Lord, how to bear their cross that they may be pleasing to you. Empower my children to walk in a spirit of humility and teach them how to consider others more important than themselves. Surround them with leaders who would lead them to the cross, leaders who will impart the word of truth in their minds, souls, and spirit, leaders who will delight in your law and live according to your ways. Surround them with your loving kindness and your tender mercies all the days of their life, that they may prosper in all that they do. I pray that your grace would grant them physical, emotional, and spiritual strength in the name of Jesus. Guard their minds from harmful instructions and illuminate their minds to recognize the truth from lies. I decree and declare the word over my children today that though they will walk through the valley of the shadow of death, they will not be afraid. For the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is with them. His rod and his staff will comfort them. My God will prepare a table before my children in the presence of their enemies. I declare today that my children will walk in victory and overcome all things. I declare that from generation to generation, the name of Jesus Christ will be exalted in my bloodline we shall give allegiance to this name that at the name of jesus 
every knee should bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. May my children experience this life and this life abundantly. Father, I now place them into your hands. I shall now walk in expectation of supernatural divine overflow of your goodness and grace over my children's life. I declare to walk by faith in the truth that your purposes and plans shall unfold in a powerful way in their life. I thank you for what you're going to do, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray and I declare these things by faith. Amen. Now let's declare Psalms 91 over our children. So we're going to recite this verse and plant our children's name in this scripture that the word of God will rest over them, would convict them, and would put the fear of the Lord in them. Psalms 91. My children will dwell in the secret place of the Most High. My children will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He will be their refuge and their fortress. My God, in Him my children will trust. Surely He shall deliver them from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover my children with His feathers and under His wings they shall take refuge. His truth shall be their shield and buckler. They shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrows that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my children's side and 10,000 at their right hand, but it shall not come near my children. Only with their eyes shall they look and see the reward of the wicked. Because my children have made the Lord, who is their refuge, even the Most High, their dwelling place. No evil shall befall my children, nor shall any plague come near my children's dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over them to keep them in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear my children up lest they dash their foot against a stone. My children shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. My children shall trample underfoot because he has set his love upon my children. Therefore, God will deliver them. God will set my children on high because he has known their name. My children shall call upon him and God will answer them. He will be with my children in trouble. He will deliver them and honor them with long life. He will satisfy them and show my children his salvation. In Jesus' name, I declare this scripture over my children unto the full manifestation of it breaks forth. In Jesus' name, amen. 